praise the Lord. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? Um, it's good to see you all. We're going to our time of uh, our worship service, and uh, we usually start by praying and inviting the Holy Spirit. So I just want us to please rise on our feet as we welcome his presence into our midst this morning. I just want us to talk to the Lord this morning and thank him for giving us the grace and the opportunity to be in his presence. We're alive, we're healthy, we have the ability to do anything that we desire, but some are sick in the hospital, some are dead and gone. They do not have the privilege to do what they want to do, but here we are in the presence of the Lord, fully alive and awakened. So I just want you to lift up voice and just thank God for his holy presence and his power to bring your life this morning. Jesus, we come to you in the name the Lord we come to you in the name of Jesus giving you glory to God thank you for such an awesome opportunity to be in your house to be in your presence to be in your house this morning father Lord the son said that better is one day in the house of the Lord than a thousand else well there's no better place that I would have been without your presence and without your grace this morning. So I just want to honor you, Lord. Your people have come again, Lord, to bless you, to glorify you, to honor you, to worship you, and to thank you, oh God, for all that you have done, all of your faithfulness, all of your, 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 your mercies, all of your compassion that you have given unto us as your people. Lord, we're so undeserving of this grace, Lord, but because of your son Jesus, his blood, his righteousness, his purification. Father, we are able to come before you, oh God, and you are able to see us through your son's blood. Only through the blood of Jesus that you are able to see us, Lord. And so we are thankful, oh God, for such a glorious privilege, glorious privilege to be in your house, oh Lord. We ask, oh God, that your presence will lead us into the time of our service. And that you will prepare our hearts, oh God, for your glorious presence, Lord. That we will experience, we will experience the supernatural power of your presence. As we open our heart to you, Lord. As we open our minds to you. As we let go of everything, Father. And fall at the feet of Jesus this morning. That we will receive from the Lord. We will receive his mercy, his compassion, his forgiveness. Oh, Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. We welcome your presence, Lord. We ask that you will come into our hearts this morning and you will prepare us and you will teach us how to worship you, how to praise you, how to listen to your word and, and, and apply your wisdom unto our hearts, Father God. We just thank you, O God, for everything that you have done for us, Lord, for everything that you have done for us, for keeping us healthy, Father, for keeping us sound in our minds, O God, for renewing our strength, oh God. For filling us with the ability, Lord, to, to, to rise up, to awake every morning, oh God. The Bible says, your mercy is renewed upon us every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your loving kindness. Great is your tender mercy. Oh, concerning us, for us, for our children, for our family, for our friends, for our co-workers, for, for the people that we have come in contact with, oh God, throughout our lifetime. Great is your faithfulness concerning us oh lord and we want to appreciate you we want to bless you almighty god we want to honor you oh god because you deserve the praise you deserve the glory you are a sovereign lord oh god you are the lord above all and you have given us an invitation to come into your presence boldly to seek the face of the father because of you jesus you have granted us such a great opportunity to come boldly to you oh god to find grace and to find help in time of needs oh god lord we have come this morning jesus to find that grace to find that help oh god from you oh father 
that nowhere else can we find and no one can give unto us that which we need father it is from you because you are above all and whatever the bible say every good and perfect gift comes from the lord so we thank you for the gifts of life we thank you for the gifts of help we thank you for the gift of health oh god in our bodies oh lord we thank you for cleansing us with your precious and your holy blood we thank you oh god for sustaining us oh god sustaining our lives sustaining our family sustaining our jobs sustaining our careers oh god sustaining our businesses father we just come oh god to say thank you my friend you have a lot to thank god for just begin to thank him you have so much in five minutes just thank god you have you have so much to thank jesus for my god i just thank you oh we are we worship you we are thankful we are grateful we are grateful and we are thankful lord we have come oh god oh with nothing in our hands but just to thank you and that is why you lord you said if you don't thank jesus if you don't thank me i will raise the stones to praise me lord we refuse that the stones should be raised to praise you when we are alive to give you thanks with the breath that is in our lungs and in our nostrils father god we refuse for you to raise up stones to praise you because we are alive for oh god and we have the power and ability to praise the almighty god and that is why we are here this morning friends that is why we are here this morning friends out of the seven days of the week the lord has set this day apart that his people will come together and that they will give him praise because he is the lord the god of all flesh the god the only holy and righteous god he is the lord the god of all flesh he is the only one that is able he is the god the lord of all flesh thank you this morning hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Man son toro bo shanta yara. Man tori ana man son tori ba 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 shanta yara. Re ba 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 shantori na man son tori anda rabo seke bere shata. Psalm fifty one eleven says, "Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me." I just want us to pray that the Holy Spirit would keep the church of God alive. Sometimes the Holy Spirit cannot die and we know that. But sometimes the Spirit is inactive. And most of the time the church doesn't even know. Because there is no evidence. There is no evidence of the Spirit of God being alive. We just go to church religiously and just do things religiously because it's, the, we don't feel that the Spirit of God is there. We don't, we don't, we don't experience the, the power of the Holy Spirit. So I want us to pray for the church that God will make His church alive this morning in the name of Jesus. Just begin to pray. My God and my Father, we pray, oh God, for you have said, to, you have said unto Peter, you said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Father, we pray, oh God, for every church of Jesus Christ, every church of the Lord Jesus Christ that has been established on the power of your name. Lord, we pray that you will make your church alive. Your spirit will make your church alive in the name of Jesus. In this age, oh God, in this time, in this season, make your church alive. Let your spirit cause your church to be alive and awakened. Let your spirit cause your church to be alive and awakened this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray that your spirit will cause your church to be alive, to be awakened to the things of the spirit. That we will not do church religiously. That we will not do church traditionally. But God Oh Lord, the spirit that is alive, you will quicken. You will cause your spirit to be active, oh God. Activate your spirit in the church. Lord, activate your spirit in the church, oh God. Every seed of deadness, everything, oh God, that have caused, oh God, the strength of your church to become dead. Everything that have caused the, the church to, to, to fall asleep, oh God. We pray, my God, that 
your spirit will quicken, that your spirit will empower, that your spirit will make alive, will bring alive the church of God. In the name of Jesus, we decree, decree and declare this morning that you will quicken your church for the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The Bible said that power dwells in us, oh God, and we have the power to call forth the church, to call forth the church, to come alive, oh God, to come alive, oh God, to awaken from every sleep and slumberness in the name of Jesus, every unrighteousness and unholiness, my God and my Father, we call forth your church alive in the mighty name of Jesus, we call forth your church alive this morning in the mighty the name of Jesus. Cast out not away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit of God from us. We need the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is our GPS. It is our vehicle to move forward to the purpose of God, to the power of God. The Holy Ghost is our GPS. So direct us, oh God, into the presence of your will, into the presence of your power. Make your church alive. Cause your church to come alive. Cause your church will come alive this morning. Cause your church will come alive this morning. Cause your church will come alive this morning. In the name of Jesus. Cause your church to come alive this morning. In the name of Jesus. Le bola tola ma parate se yetele bo. Li antole ma soto ro ko shabara bo se te. Hey ma soto ri na ma masika ta yetele bo shata. In the name of Jesus cause your church to come alive John 15 verse 1 I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit he said already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you this morning, I just want us to pray for the church as well. Ask the Lord to help us to be effective and fruitful in our work with God. Begin to pray that our fruits will be more, more, that the Lord will prove us that we will begin to bear more and more fruit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, I release your power and I release your Holy Spirit, oh God, that you will make us effective and fruitful, oh God, that you will make us effective and fruitful, oh God, in your house, for you are the vine dresser. You are the true vine, and our Father is the vine dresser. Lord, we ask by the power of your name, make us effective, make us fruitful in our work, make us effective, make us fruitful in our work with you, Jesus. We pray for the effectiveness of the spirit in our lives may we not be christians by mouth may we be christians by our lifestyle our living of god the way we speak our thoughts of god our character of god in all that we do may we be effective christians that bearing fruit that is worthy of you bearing fruit that is worthy of your glory this morning and thomas abba father prove us that we will bear more fruit for we have the word of god Side of us, and the Bible has said that the word of God is the seed of the spirit. The seed has been planted into our spirit to produce more fruit. You said, Yeah, little children, oh, when the, when the word of God is in you, you cannot continue sinning. For the spirit has given you the grace to live in abundance of holiness, to live in abundance of righteousness. Therefore, Father, we pray for the effectiveness of your church. Make your church effective. Let the fruit be begin to show. Let the fruits begin to show. Anything that does not bear fruit in our life this morning, we ask that you cut it out. We ask that you take it out as your church. Take it out, oh God, and prove us that we will begin to bear fruit. Prepare us. Ship us, oh God. Ship us into your image and likeness. Ship us into your image and likeness. This morning as your church, we pray that you will ship us. We pray that you will ship us into the image of Christ. Shape us into the image of Christ, oh God. We want to bear fruit. We want to be fruit bearer Christians. Huh? We want to be fruit bearer Christians, oh God. Let the fruit of God be evident in our lives, oh God. Wherever we step, wherever we go, let 
let your fruit be evident let your fruit be evident let your fruit be evident in the name of Jesus we want to bear fruits oh my son Toro Shata Kabato Sana my son Telebe first Peter 3 18 for Christ also suffered once for for once for for sins the righteous for the unrighteous that he might bring us to God being put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit I want us to pray for your family I just want us to pray for the salvation of your family members ask God to reveal his truth in your hearts in these last days we all have to be ready we have to be pure we have to be separated we have to come out and be holy unto God because anytime the rapture can take place and so we want to be ready your family you don't want to leave your family behind you don't want your family to end up in hell you don't want your brother your sister your siblings you don't want them to end up in hell so begin to pray for your salvation right now begin to ask God to preserve your life and ask the Lord to reveal his truth within your heart this morning in the name of Jesus the Bible said Christ died once for all sin both for the righteous and the unrighteous it is the revelation of God's truth that separates us from the world so therefore begin to pray that God's truth will be revealed to everyone to the unrighteous to those that are not saved to your loved ones to your family members that does not know God's truth begin to pray for your brothers your sisters your husband even your children begin to pray for your conversion true conversion we want your life to be turned around we we want your life to be turned around. Oh, Father, we ask, oh God, for your words that it is not your will that any perish, but it is your will that all should come unto repentance. Father, we ask, oh God, that those you have preordained, you have destined by your spirit, oh God, you will bring them unto yourself, including our family members. We ask that your names be written in the Lamb's Book of Life this morning. We pray that we pray salvation over them. We pray for the truth of the word of God to be reveal in your heart, oh God. We pray that you will uplift uh, every stony heart, uh, place within your heart, oh God. The heart of the Spirit of God uh, that will teach them God's truth. You said in the last days, oh God, your truth, your commandments, your word, it shall be written on the tablets of your heart, oh God. Uh, Father, we ask uh, that the word of the Lord will be written on the tablets of the hearts of your children. They shall come to your truth. They shall come to your truth. They shall come to your truth. Reveal it unto them. 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 In the name of Jesus. I just want you to lift your voice and thank God for hearing you. Just thank Him for hearing us. We have this confidence that whenever we pray, the Father hears us. We thank you for hearing us. Lord, we bless your name. Oh, my son, Torobo Shataya. Thank you for hearing us, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive our worship. Thank you, Lord. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. Church, just saying how awesome he is in this place right now. You are awesome.
devil. Even when you are going through the worst situation in life uh, and the spirit of God has put in, us, in your heart the joy of the Lord, Satan is confused. Why is she happy when she's supposed to be sad? Why is he happy when he's supposed to be sad? Come on, somebody. You have the joy of the Lord. It is a joy that you know, you know, you know, you know, because it's on your inside. So no matter what you face, uh, you tell the devil, I got joy flying in my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Just lift your hands to heaven. Begin to thank him for the joy. He said the world does not know this peace because they know not Jesus. You have so much peace in you. So much joy in you. When the world is in chaos concerning coronavirus, you have the peace of the Lord in your heart. Because that peace sustains you. Just thank Jesus for the peace that he's given you. Thank him for the joy that he has filled your heart with. Thank him for the peace that he has given you. Oh, my son, Tolo, We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we're going to ask the Lord to fill us up this morning with a song. Fill us up this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You provide the fire. I provide the sacrifice. Lord, you provide the spirit, and I will open up and talk.
we want to run overflow. Overflow, overflow of your presence. Overflow of your anointing in this house. Overflow of your miracles, oh God. Overflow of your power this morning. Overflow, 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 overflow. Jesus, overflow. Thank you, Lord. Mighty God, I bless your name. Holy One, I worship you. For you I got all by yourself. You I got all by yourself. Oh, for who you are, for who you are.
you Jesus you are God you are great oh my God we bless you Jesus we give you worship hallelujah hallelujah we worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated in heavenly places. We're going to welcome the children, they have a special song for us today. Amen. I thank God for another year in my life. I'm 12 now. song that I've been listening to and I decided why not sing it for my birthday so uh, so here I am now singing that song it's called So Will I um, so, uh, so this song is basically about like God is in control of, every, of, of everything always and fear cannot take hold of your heart for the Lord is close to brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. So God is always in control of everything. He, he will never leave you guys behind. He will always make sure we're here. In Psalms 33, verse 6 to 11, it says, The Lord God merely spoke, and the heavens were created. He breathed the word, and all the stars were born. He aside. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in a vase and a vast reservoir. For when he spoke, he wor the world began. It appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates at the plans of the nations and thy words all their schemes. But the Lord's plans stands firm forever. His intentions can never can never be shaken. God of 
creation there at the start for the beginning of time with no point of reference you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life and as you speak a hundred billion galaxies are born and in the vapor of your breath the planets fall if the stars were made to worship so will I I can see you have spoken all nature and science follow the sound of your voice and as you speak a hundred billion creatures catch your breath Evolve
Stretch both your hands upon this young ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless these ones because you have blessed them and we honor the graces and the uh, giftings and the desires of their heart. We pray that Lord may you cause it to rise up, that they will rise up as youth of God unto their generation to be exemplary not only to their generation but the generation that is before them and the ones that is after them into the fourth generation in the name of Jesus we thank you for their lives we pray for covering and protection upon their lives that as they grow up they will continue to grow with this desire to worship you not only in the house of God, but out there. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give a hand clap and a shout. That was wonderful, Michael, uh, Caleb, and Cephas. The Lord bless you. Amen. Please be seated. 